Happy Corp, which is a private enterprise, tries to attack attract the most knowledgeable and creative employees it can find. To help accomplish this, the company offers a special group of technology employees the right to a fully paid sabbatical leave after every five years of continuous service. It is the company's objective that the employees will come back renewed and with fresh ideas, but there are no restrictions on what they do during the sabbatical year. Happy Corp hired three employees in early 2020 who were entitled to this benefit. Each new hire agreed to a starting salary of $80,000 per year. And the first thing we're asked to do is explain generally how this employee benefit should be accounted for by Happy Corp under ASPE and IFRS. Well, this benefit relates to a compensated absence. It's a defined benefit plan that is service related the benefit is earned by the employee over a five-year period and then vests in the employee. Under both ASPE and IFRS, the company should accrue the cost of the benefit and the related liability over the five years in which the employee obtains the eligibility for the benefits. So what we can say there is that A, So A is going to be, it's a defined benefit plan. Um, the, the expense and the liability need to be accrued. as the employees provide service. Okay. So B says, assume that you are the assistant to the company controller. In response to the controller's request, list all the information you need in order to calculate the amounts and prepare the adjusting entry that is required at December 31st, 2020 relative to this plan under ASPE and IFRS. Include a brief description of the key information you would need to provide to the actuary. Okay, well, the question's already highlighted that we need to use an actuary and that's true. So some of the things that we would need to give the actuary is employee turnover data, because that's gonna impact our liability for the year of sabbatical. If not very many employees stay for five years, then we'll have a much lower liability than if every employee stays for five years. Projected salaries in the sabbatical year, because we need to be recognizing the expense of providing the uh, the cost of the sabbatical year over this period that the employees provide service. So how much can we expect they make in this sabbatical year? We also need to know the appropriate discount rate. Which may be provided by the actuary. And that is basic. That's the main information that we would need. C, assume that the employee's activities during the sixth year, the sabbatical, are specified by the company. The employees must work on research and promotion activities that will benefit the company. Would your answer to part A change? If yes, explain why and how it would be accounted for. If not, explain why not. Well, if the employees are required to provide service, Just because they're doing something different, it's no longer a defined benefit plan. So it would not have to be accounted for as the employees are providing service because they're still gonna be providing service in the sabbatical year, just a different type of service. So therefore we would just account for payroll as normal. We wouldn't need to worry about a pension, uh, some sort of a different pension expense or sorry, a defined benefit expense or any sort of a liability for future um, for future time off.